So this video is carrying on with um, the 91267 probability paper from 2017 and we're on question three. So this is part three of question three um, and it was talking about salmon. So after one year in the pens, female salmons have weights that are approximately normally distributed and notice how I'm circling the important parts with mean of 3975. 40% of the salmon were above, so they exceeded 4,000. We got to work out the standard deviation. Okay, so it looks like this. We've got a mean of 3,975. We know that the top 40% were above 4,000. Okay, now we can't go to inverse normal straight away because we don't know the mean and the standard deviation. We can do it on the z-curve. So if we did this on the z-curve for the top 40%, the mean would be zero, the standard deviation would be one. So if we go to our stats menu, we wanna go distributions, normal, inverse, because we're working backwards from a probability. This time we have a right tail and we've got an area of 0 0.4, sigma is one, mean is zero. And that gives us the Z number that would go there would be 0 0.2533. And I'm just actually gonna write in all of the decimals because we don't want to accidentally round too early. Okay, then we match up the Z with X is using this formula. So X minus the mean over sigma. So Z, we've got this number just here, 0 0.2533471 is equal to X is the number from this one here. So that was the 4,000 minus the mean, which is 3975. And sigma is the thing that we're trying to work out. Now we need to rearrange this into an order that I can put it into the calculator into equation solver. So bring the sigma up, so that's 0.2533471 sigma. Bring the mean across. Actually, yeah, don't need to do that bit. We can just do the 4000 minus the 3975. So that equals 25. So sigma is, you can either just do a straightforward calculation on here, or if you're not so confident, you can put it into equation solver. So we can write 0.2533471, and I'm gonna use an S for sigma, equals 25, and then solve it. So sigma, is 98.69 to four significant figures. Now answers for that one, the mark scheme, we're looking just here. So part three, if we got to the point of working out that Z value, that got us a U, an achieved point. So just here, we get a U for that. If we can um, set up our expression like this, that gets us a merit point, an R. And if we can go on to solve that correctly, then we get the excellence. So if we get down to 98.68, which I think is just a little slightly different. See, the answer here says 98.68. Um, I, oops, I incorrectly rounded there. So my 98.67 should have got rounded to an eight at the end there instead of the nine. There we go, we'll just fix that up. So if we got to that right answer at the end, then we get our T, and a T means an excellence um, on that question. Okay, All right, let's have a look at part four. So the pens contain approximately equal numbers of male and female. When they're harvested, weights of all salmon are normally distributed like this. When they're harvested, each member of the harvest team is given two to take home. Okay, so we've got our mean here, standard deviation, 
two of the sum are selected at random, what's the probability that both of them will be more than that number there? Okay, so first of all, we just want the probability of getting a fish that's more than that. So the mean is 4,050. Standard deviation is 84. We want the chance that it's over 4,025, so that's about here. We're working out that probability. So straightforward um, on our stats menu, distributions, normal, NCD. Make sure that that says variable. And we have our lower limit is this one here of 4,025. The upper limit is um, something very big. Sigma is 84, mean is 4,050. So our probability is 0 0.6170 done on the graphics calculator. Now the chance that both of them are more than that, well it helps me to think of this like a tree diagram. So first fish could be over or not. So the chance that it is the thing we want is 0 0.6170. The second fish, after that, it could be over or not. So 0 0.6170 would go on there. And of course the, the opposite would go here if we needed it. It would be a 382, um, yeah, 382, no, 383. <laughs> Okay, if we needed it. But anyway, we don't. We want this branch here. So to get the outcome of both of the fish being over, we would multiply those branches. So it's 0 0.6170 times 0 0.6170. So times them together now. And we get 0 0.3807. We'll check against the mark scheme. So here we are, point, part four. Uh, the weight that they're above that is 0 0.617, so that gives us an achieved point. So right here we get a U. And that both of them are above that is that 0 0.617 times itself, so it's 0 0.381. So that's that bit there, that gets us an R. We get a merit point for that one.